Hello. Good morning. All right. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? All right. <clears throat> Let's we continue our class today, our lesson today. Good morning, Muhammad Fikri. Call you one three five. All right. Do you hear me? I hope you can hear me. If you have a problem, let me know. All right, so this is attendance today. We hope that you can uh, go to your, okay, uh, maybe your friend will scan and then send to your telegram. All right, your friend will send to your telegram. All right, okay. Mm. Okay, somebody can send to the telegram. I'm waiting. All right, for the question at the telegram, for Euler method, you can refer to the textbook. Okay, I still remember I'm, I'm using textbooks to make the question. All right, so now um, let's I stop sharing and then I want to continue to uh, objective our class today is to understand the way how to solve ordinary differential equation, the way how we can discretize ordinary differential equation using the different type of boundary whether derivative or without derivative all right so let's we go all right good morning Chem. all right so now i'm stop sharing here i want to share with you for today class okay i'm start from um, here all right ordinary differential equation okay i go to part one all right so this is the objective <clears throat> for our class today, we already learned, all right, we stop here, we are focus our class, all right, we already learned about um, ordinary differential equation, we are using Euler, we are using Tellers, we are using ranch kata method, all right, to solve the initial value theorem, and uh, this is about how we can straightforward solving the problem by uh, knowing the initial value problem all right and then now i want to move to boundary value problem where we have a uh, four condition actually without derivative the boundary okay without derivative with derivative and um the derivative at the corners at the both corners one corners and the both corners all right so now mm, we we already okay uh learn here how to solve using Euler, using Ranch Kata, all right? So now we want to move to boundary value problem, all right? We want to move to boundary value problem. Let's I'm stop sharing here, all right? I already finished, okay, three method, Euler method, Taylor method, and Ranch Kata method to solve the same problem, all right? Initial value problem, where y not equal to 1, x not equal to zero please set in your mind okay based on the question you already know that y not is equal to zero y not is a subscript is equal to uh, equal to one and then x not okay x not is equal to um, zero all right and then you also know that okay, when h is 0 0.5 your n is equal to four all right, so this is a um, what you get from the question. Okay, if I give you a question, okay, and then they said the third is uh, you have to know that y prime is equal to f x y. Okay, x y. Am I right? And so this also you need to set in your mind to solve this problem using three methods. Okay, what is that? Ranch kata, Taylor's, and Euler. All right. So maybe. Uh, Okay, uh, uh, tell us, okay, uh, I can ask you a question, but not higher order, maybe order two, Raj Kata order two, all right, to solve the same question. And then we can compare with the exact solution to get the error, all right? So that's we learned, okay, last, um, last uh, the, the previous lesson. So now, okay, I want to stop sharing. I want to go to the introduction to boundary, uh, boundary value problem. All right, let's I'm stop sharing. I'm sharing um, introduction to boundary value problem. Mm, where is that? All right. Okay. 
51. Okay, now, okay, uh, I'm I'm stop sharing here. All right, I want to focus my uh, digital material here. Okay, what is a boundary value problem? Okay, boundary value problem. Okay, is similar to initial value problem. However, there is at a condition. The condition is y three equal to y two equal to three. Okay, this is the uh, boundary condition. Okay, where when x equal to one and x equal to two, there is a condition y not equal to two and y n is equal to three. Uh, so this is a boundary condition to solve this uh, problem. You can see here. Okay, uh, there is a second order derivative y prime prime. And then there is also first order derivative y prime. So there is difference between the uh, initial value problem and boundary value problem. Boundary value problem, you can solve up to second order derivative. All right. You go to page, okay, come on, we go to uh, 198. Come on, I want to show with you where is the page. I want to focus myself here. Okay, you go to page 198. There is a boundary value problem. I want to solve this problem using, okay, using the, um, a few types of the boundary value problem. All right, okay, let's refocus. Okay, I go to the material again. All right. So now you can see here, um, y prime prime if uh, plus 1 over x y prime minus 1 over x squared y equal to 3 x is between 1 and 2 y is between 2 and 3 so meaning that x naught is equal to 0 x n is equal to 2 y naught is equal to 2 and y n is equal to 3 n is what? n is a the last uh, interval, the last grid, all right? So this we call, okay, boundary value theorem, but the condition at the boundary is no involved derivative. You can see here, there is no involved derivative. Y1 equal to 2, Y2 equal to 3. So boundary, there is not involved derivative. The second is a boundary voltage problem, okay? okay you are involved um, second order derivative, okay? Where there is a derivative at one corner, x equal to a, the early the early interval, okay, x equal to a. So the same question, you are using the same uh, ordinary diffusion equation, y prime prime plus 1 over x, y prime equal to 1 x squared, y equal to 3, the same question. But the when x equal to 1, this is the x naught x naught, okay, you can see there is a derivative here, okay, y prime x naught plus y x naught equal to 1, all right, so this is considered as a boundary value problem with the derivative at one corner, at one uh, uh, condition, one boundary, all right, and then the second is y2 equal to 3, okay, the last corner, the last boundary, when x equal to 2, okay, x equal to 2, the last boundary is not interval, it's not derivative, it's not in the derivative. So we call this one is a boundary value problem with derivative at one at one boundary, at one corner. All right. So from here you can see that x between 1 and 2, and y is less than 3, and y1, we don't know what is a y1, but from the first Condition, we know what is y1 is equal to 2. The third boundary condition is a weak derivative at another last corner. The last boundary is a, when x equal to b. y prime prime plus 1 over x y prime minus 1 x squared y equal to 3. So this is a important. Okay, We have the condition at the last corner, at the last boundary, where y prime 2 plus Okay, come on, we can see here y, plus, y prime 2 plus y2 equal to 1, equal to 1. So this is a condition, the different condition between the boundary value problem with uh, 
the corner, the derivative at the last corner. Right? We call as a condition number three. Condition number four is a derivative. Okay, this one is a de not derivative for both corner, but for the last part is a there not not the condition like one. The condition is same as condition number one, but both the uh, boundary has a corners. Okay, means that with derivative at x equal to a and x equal to b. Right. All the no the notes of this presentation you can watch at the e-learning. All right. You go to the e-learning. Okay. You can see this note. All right. So the condition number four is a boundary for both corners. Okay. On the early corners, like the first corners, and then the last corner, where x equal to a and x equal to b, all right? x equal to a is an early corner, x equal to b is the last corner, all right? So you can see here, okay, both of the boundary condition all have the derivative, y prime, okay, y prime prime plus 1 over x y prime minus y x squared y equal to 3. This is a question of the boundary value problem that we want to find y and then y prime 1 plus y1 equal to 1. This is the first derivative. Okay. This is the first derivative. Right. And then the other one, okay, y prime 1, okay, meaning that when x not equal to 1, y prime 1 and then the other one, y prime 2 plus y2 equal to 1. So you can see this, okay, uh, four condition. Okay. I'm stop sharing. I want to go to my uh, review now. So can I ask you where is the condition of boundary value problem? Okay. So what? Okay. My, my, my question is what are four condition? Okay. There is a four, what are four condition of boundary value problem? All right. The second, my question is how okay how to solve boundary boundary value problem okay using using chapter five okay you have a chapter five am right so these two questions the first is what is a four condition of the boundary value problem that the four condition is a first condition okay we have a problem of boundary value problem y prime prime plus one over x y prime plus one over x squared y equal to three but the condition we have four the first is uh, when x equal to a and x equal to b is not derivative all right the second is a uh, the second is a uh, the same question y prime prime one over x y prime Minus 1 x squared y equal to 3, the boundary value problem. But uh, the one of the boundary is a, a derivative at x equal to b. Okay, the last, the last when x equal to 2, okay, you have the uh, derivative uh, at the last, okay, boundary, at the last corner. And then the third is, okay, mm, you have a derivative uh, when x equal to a at the first corner, x equal to a, okay? And then the last uh, condition is a derivative at the both corners, okay? When x equal to a, x equal to b, x equal to 1, x equal to 2, okay? There is a derivative at the corners, all right? So in this case, uh, case number, case number um, 3, number 4, okay, you can create a, a uh, huge linear system. Maybe uh, you, because you don't know what is a uh, y not y one y two y three y four. All right. So this is a problem. Okay, for the question number five. All right. So in this case, maybe you can uh, generate five times five matrix. How to solve five times five matrix? All right. You can solve using Thomas algorithm. Okay. All right. You go to page um, chapter two. Okay. All right. So this. This is a problem. The second is how to discretize. So, meaning that this one is how to discretize uh, boundary value problem in chapter 5. Come on, we go to chapter 5. <clears throat> Come on, we go to chapter 5. What is a chapter 5 about? Is uh, you want to solve center different formula. Okay, maybe you can, you also need to solve using center different formula 3.5.11. 
refer now i want you to refer to 5.11 okay page page uh you can refer to page 120 okay page 120 is a second order derivative because y prime prime you have y prime prime here you want to use second order derivative and then maybe another one okay you go to um <clears throat> boundary value problem okay uh, this one you need to apply okay you need to apply in this case you need to use a uh, center three point derivative is a uh, 5.8 and then refer to refer to 5.8 okay page um refer to 5.8 okay, page you go here is your page 108 all right this is what this is a um, <clears throat> first order derivative because you have a y prime one okay? you have y prime one so you also have y prime two you want to apply uh uh, sector 5, 5, 8, uh, 5 .8, page 108 is a second order, uh, first order derivative, center different formula. Yeah, center different formula with two points. Okay, all right. Okay, so now don't worry, we are still okay, engaged with page uh, chapter 5. Okay, we still engage with the chapter 5 again how to discretize the boundary value problem now let's we focus to our um next part all right so now okay since you know there is four condition condition one condition two condition three condition four and then the way you discretize the boundary is based on the 5.8 okay center different formula 5.8 for first derivative all right so now we want to uh, clear the step how to do the discretization and solving the ordinary differential equation all right the first is what should you do all right you need to discretize y prime prime 1 over x y prime minus 1 x squared y equal to 3 using uh, chapter 5 or the, okay using numerical differentiation Okay, you need to remember this formula. This is a two-point different formula to discretize first order derivative 5.8. Okay, refer to formula 5.8. And then you also need to use second order derivative. Okay, uh, in chapter 5 is 5.11. Okay, 5.11. Okay, yi plus 1 minus 2yi. Okay, I again... I again want you to remember this two formula, right? Please remember this formula. First order derivative, y plus 1 minus yi minus 1 divided by 2h, 5.8. Second order derivative, 3 point yi plus 1 minus yi plus yi minus 1 divided by h. What is i? i is a x plus h. What is i minus 1? x minus h. What is h? size of interval what is y prime first order derivative stated in the question this is a this this y prime you need to use y prime here you need to use y prime here you need to use okay 5.8 for y prime prime you need to use this formula which is a 5.11 all right come on all written on uh, chapter 5. Don't worry. Don't say that chapter 9 is uh, different. No. It's a uh, continuous from the chapter 5. All right. This one also you need to be clear. When you have this derivative, uh, when you have this derivative, why? This is a condition. Boundary condition. Condition number. This one is a condition number 1. All right. Because uh, the condition number 1. Because... Okay, when x not equal to 1, the early point is 1, you have the derivative for uh, one corner, the first corner, the first boundary. y prime 1 plus y1 equal to 1. Meaning that y not, y prime not plus y not equal to 1. This is the way how you write. 
y prime naught plus y naught equal to zero and equal to one because uh, x naught equal to one. What is not? What is not? What is zero? Zero is at the early stage. This is condition number two. And then um, to do the discrimination, be careful. <coughs> be careful because you need to apply 5.8 formula. Okay, first order derivative at the birth one. Center different formula. You find y i plus 1, 0 plus 1 is 1 minus i minus 1. 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Divided by 2 h, okay. Divided by 2 h plus y naught equal to 0. Come on, this is the way I express here. You need to write, okay, during the exam. The way how you write, I told you x plus h is a y i plus 1. So, you replace i is equal to 0, i plus 1 is 1, my, minus i is 0, minus 1 is negative 1, divided by 2 h, plus y naught equal to 0, all right? Okay, so you have discretized the boundary condition at the early corner, at the first corner. So you times 2H every both part to make it more simple. You can get Y1 minus Y negative 1, all right, plus 2HY naught is equal to, okay, 2H is equal to 2H, all right. So in this case, you can replace when you meet y negative 1, when i equal to 0, y negative 1, you can replace as a y1 plus 2hy naught, okay, and then mm, minus 2h, okay, minus 2h. Okay, this is the way how you replace at the corners, at the boundary, the derivative, the condition number, number 1, all right. So, to do this, you need to refer to page, all right, let's we go to chapter 8. Okay, come on. I'm stop here. I want you to go to chapter 8 when you meet this condition, all right? You go to the first derivative, okay? Mm. Okay, the first derivative. Go to the example, we go to the example, okay, <clears throat> example boundary condition, okay, example 8.6, you go to the example 8.6 here, go to 8.6 here, alright, and then page 208, okay, page 208, I can also share with you through the uh, PDF file, okay, I can also share with you with the PDF file, I focus here, alright, so let's we go to example 8.6, page 208, alright, from here, okay, when, when we know that how to discretize the boundary, the first boundary with derivative, and then you can write here y negative 1 is equal to y1 plus 2hy naught minus 2h. So when you meet y negative 1, you need to replace with the this formula y1 plus 2hy naught minus 2h. So the, the discussion is much, much more um, okay, uh, complex when i is equal to 0, the early stage, because your boundary is a derivative at the early corner, at the x equal to a. All right. So now, the second is a, a condition number three, where there is a derivative at the last. Okay, maybe uh, you can see here when x equal to two, the last corner, the last boundary, y prime two plus y two equal to one. Same as the uh, step a, all right, previous step. So you replace i equal to n because uh, 2 is at the last part. Yeah? So you have yn plus 1 minus yn minus 1 divided by 2h from formula 5.8. You need to remember formula 5.8 chapter 5. Yeah? So you can find here, okay, you can replace yn plus 1. Uh, if you have 
y5, okay, uh, n, n is equal to 4. Now y5, n is equal to 5, n plus 1 is a 6. So y6, the last boundary, the last point should be 2h minus 2h yn plus yn minus 1. So you can replace, okay. So remember this formula, okay, what, which one you need to remember? First is a i equal to n. The second is a x n. The last is equal to b. b is equal to 2. And then the first derivative is y prime 2 plus y2 equal to 1. You apply 5.1 formula. y n plus 1 minus y n minus 1 divided by 2 h. 3 point, 2 point. Center different formula for first derivative. y prime 2 plus y n equal to 1. So you can get y n plus 1 will be replaced all the term of y n and y n minus 1 which is inside the inside the boundary yeah okay so now never mind i will draw the you the, the 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 where is the location right i draw you the location you know that when you draw the line between x equal to 0, x equal to 1, x equal to n minus 1, x equal to n, x equal to n plus 1. All right, the boundary now is only x equal to 0 and x equal to n. So there is an extra point, n plus 1, and i equal to negative 1. All right, so be careful when you have the derivative at the boundary. All right, when you have a derivative at the boundary, okay, uh, you need to find y negative 1 and y n plus 1. All right. So n negative 1 at the corners. Yeah, at the corners. So be careful here. All right. So, okay, y negative 1, be careful. And then y uh, n plus 1 also, be careful. All right. So the first step is uh, find the derivative and find the domain. All right. Find the domain all right so now okay i'm stopped here all right i want to share with you my question here all right come on i want to write here my question is um, how to uh, discretize okay the boundary okay y prime okay let's say i want to put y prime b uh, at the last one all right or y prime k uh, and a lee bond a lee condition so this is my question right my question is uh, how to find the derivative at the corners the last corner and derivative at the lee corner use formula chapter 5 5.8 center different formula all right so from i prime a okay you can meet y negative x equal to negative 1, all right, the last, and then the other one is at the last corner at the y equal to n plus 1, all right, so this you need to set, because you need to use this element, this point, to uh, solve the boundary value problem, all right, okay, okay, the, okay, now I hope you can answer my question, what is the four condition, okay, okay, there is no derivative, one derivative but be careful at this one all right because there is a derivative at the both corner okay both corner okay now mm, all right so now let's we go to the example okay let's we go to the example how to solve the boundary value problem now, if you go to the example okay you can see that okay the process of discussion is very very easy all right so now as the first moment okay i want you you can see here okay i want you to focus this question okay this question is about okay you can see here all right uh let's refocus okay it look like uh, you have the derivative at the first corner when x equal to um one when x not equal to one at the first corner all right and then uh, there is no boundary condition, okay, with the derivative at the last corner when x n equal to 2. There is no boundary. And then you have also given the exact solution. So meaning that you can compare the approximation solution that you get from the boundary value problem 
based on the finite different disposition, uh, you go to the formula 5.8 and 5.11 after this and control the calculation using the four decimal places. Let's we go. All right. How to solve? All right. Don't say that these are new things for you. This is the uh, we learn in chapter chapter five. All right. The first is apply chapter five. Apply chapter five to discretize the boundary value problem. Y prime prime x plus one over x x prime, and then uh, x, um, x plus minus one x squared y x equal to three. All right, so this is the first. All right, so now uh, try to do the derivative based on this problem. Come on, all right? Go to chapter five, okay? All right, go to chapter five. Okay, I hope you can go to chapter five. Okay. Okay, let's go chapter 5, all right. And then after that, okay, find the domain of the solution, all right. You go to the boundary condition. You have the domain here. The domain is a when x equal to 1 and x equal to 2, all right. Y, we don't know. The value of y, we don't know, all right. But we know n. n is a b minus a divided by h. What is b? b is 2. What is A? A is a 1. What is N? What is H? H is 0 0.2. 2 minus 1 divided by 0 0.2 is equal to 5. So you have 5 points to get. Okay, but uh, the last point you know, Y 5 is equal to 3. When X 5 equal to 2, you know what is a Y 5 equal to 3. All right, the last corner you know, but you don't know what is y naught. You don't know what is y one. You don't know what is the value of y two. You don't know what is the value y three. You don't know what is the value y four. So you have five, okay, five point two to find. All right, why is the temperature behavior actually? I can receive that the temperature behavior in this room is a y prime prime x plus one over x y prime x minus y x y x equal to three. Right. So in your case is a you need to find y not y1 y2 y3 y4 you are given y5 y5 is equal to 3 you are given all the point x not is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 0 0.2 x3 is equal to um, 0 0.6 x4 is equal to 0 0.8 and x5 is equal to uh, equal to Two, all right. So you know, you know how where is the location of x and y. All right. So come on, I draw you the graph. X is between x not up to x five. X five, you know when y x five equal to two, y five equal to three. You know the the last point. You know is the temperature behavior at the last point is three. All right. All right. So now we want to know what is the value when x equal to 0, x equal to 1, x equal to 2, x equal to 3, and x equal to 4, all right? Because uh, the early um, boundary is a derivative, okay, derivative at the x equal to a is a condition number 2, all right? The second step, use chapter 5 to discretize the y prime prime i plus 1 over x i, y i prime, Minus one x squared y i equal to three. Use the boundary. Use the uh, formula of the uh, center different formula second order five point eight and uh, second order derivative three point is a five point one one. All right. So now I apply second order derivative five point one one for the first term. So can replace to y i minus one plus yi plus yi plus 1 divided by 2h, divided by 2h, right? So, come on. This one, you need to know to get the first derivative y prime prime. So, I stop sharing here because I'm worried 
Okay, you need to know what is to discretize y prime prime. How to discretize using formula 5.11, all right? The second is, okay, this is my question. The second is how to discretize y prime, okay, uh, using, okay, how to this uh, criticize okay uh, using five point uh, eight okay five point eight ten all right five point eight you go to the chapter five all right you need to discretize okay using five point eight all right so this is my question the sec uh, actually this one is second order derivative you go to five point one one and then the other one is um, you go first derivative, you use uh, second order derivative, sec two point derivative, uh, center different formula, yi plus one minus yi minus one divided by two h, right? For this one, you need to know the formula is yi plus one, second order derivative, but there is a three point here, yi plus one minus two y min minus two yi plus yi minus one divided by h squared. Uh, this one you need to be careful, yeah. All right, so now, okay, I, I stop here. I want to focus my lecture today. All right, come on, be careful. Divided by h squared plus one over x y i plus one. Okay, this one second order derivative here, yeah? one five point eight y i plus one minus y i divided by two h. All right, and then minus one over x i because this one is not involved any formula. You just write 1 over s i, y i equal to 3. All right. So now, because this one is, um, you can see here, because this one is very complex, it's become complex, okay? You can see here, become complex. So what should you do? Okay, you need to times h squared for every both part. As a previous step, we need to times uh, 2h for every both part. But in this case, we times 2h, we times h squared for every both part. All right come on this is a common way all right you need to follow if not okay you engage with the long discussion I'm, I'm worried okay i'm worried you um you you are um, okay um all right i somebody is uh, going to have a problem with my telegram i lock out sorry all right come on Okay, uh, we continue to the uh, here how to discretize. So in this case, okay, in this case, all right, come on again. I said to you, all right, you need to apply five point one one and five point eight. Okay, we call this one as a center uh, three point second order derivative and center different formula first order derivative. All right. You can see very complex here. Don't worry. You times h squared every both part. So you can get very simple expression. Yi minus 1 plus 2yi plus yi plus 1 plus, okay, because h is, uh, you can, uh, okay, you can make it as uh, h divided by xi, okay, yi plus 1 minus yi minus 1, all right? So because you time h squared, okay, you, you time h squared every both part. And then on the last term is uh, minus h squared divided by xi squared yi equal to 3h squared. Ah, so the, the terms is um, it's very long, but now you need to simplify. Okay, you simplify. There is a three point here. It's, on, it's always yi minus 1, yi plus 1, yi. Okay, and then the real number you put on the right hand side. Okay, see? All right, how I do it on the okay, come on, eh, be careful. Eh, you you need to divide into three columns. What is that? Okay, it's a yi minus one, yi, and yi plus one because i is a three column, it's only i, i plus one, and i minus one. There is no i, and then second is okay, you have i, okay, xi, xi is not worried. This is a real number. Come on, yeah. As i is a real number, you put on the right hand side, you focus on the yi minus 1, yi plus 1, 
and YI. You put in the color and then you combine all the uh, coefficient, coefficient, okay, all the parameters. You can see here, I combine, I will get 1 minus H divided by 2XI is a uh, um, co um, coefficient for the YI minus 1. And then for YI, the coefficient is uh, the parameter is a uh, 2 plus H squared divided by XI squared. All right, in the column. And then for I plus 1, okay, you simplify for I plus 1, you can see here is a 1 plus 2 divided by 2 H. Okay, 2 divided by 2 XI. All right. So you can see here the term is almost synchronized. It's almost similar, especially for I minus 1 and for I plus 1. All right. So you can see here I uh, yi plus 1 times 1 plus h divided by 2 h is i. Alright, the, the real number you put on the uh, last part is a uh, 2 0 0.2 squared times h because you can get here is a 3 h squared. h is 1 is 0 0.2. So be careful here. Okay, you need to, uh, in this case, I want you to focus when i equal to 0. When i equal to 0, you have this problem y i minus 1 equal to 2 h plus 2 h y not plus y 1. Okay, you need to replace y i negative 1, the last corner. Only right? when i equal to negative 1, the last corner you replace as a uh, negative 2 h plus 2 h y not plus y 1. Be careful here, okay. I'm using the center different formula for the uh, boundary condition. At the corners okay what is the corners at the early corner all right so this one you you put aside you put aside okay you go to my notes i put aside because i want to focus when i equal to negative one i need to replace as a uh, boundary condition at the boundary condition all right negative 2h plus 2h y not plus y1 be careful all right so now we want to generate generate the value of y we want to find the temperature and behavior okay when i equal to zero i equal to one i equal to two i equal to three i equal to five oh, i'll stop sharing here what is the weaknesses of the boundary value problem you have five times five matrices you not get four times four matrices okay even though your n is five because your problem is a derivative at the corners when i equal to when i equal to zero all right so you need to generate the formula from this star equation this is your your standard equation the star equation okay you replace h you replace xi all right you can replace because this is all very easy to get from the graph but you don't know what is yi all right but you know what is a yn y5 is equal to 3 only all right so the rest you need to find what to do all right you need to find can one we find just follow the uh, discussion from this from the star equation the star this one yeah the, the long one the complex one we put as a star the standard form of the uh, derivative all right so now let's we go now we want to find y y Okay, when i equal to 0, you can meet y negative 1. Alright, so now be careful when you start the iteration. Alright, now generate uh, the i equal to 0. Alright, through the equation. Alright, I put i equal to 0 here. Put i equal to 0. So you can get x naught. Okay, x naught is equal to, uh, go to your book, to bo go to the question, x naught is equal to 1. All right, that's not equal to 1. Y negative 1. Y negative 1 is a, you can get from the uh, boundary, okay, derivative boundary at the corners x equal to a. So you replace y negative 1. The rest is 2, 0 0.2 squared divided by x naught. X naught is a 1. You just replace. Y naught you cannot find because it's not given in the initial condition. 1 plus 0 0.2, 2 times 0, x naught, y1 plus 0 0.2 squared times 3. So this is you need to be careful because you have go to the next stage to find y negative 1. 1 minus 0 point, uh, 
This one you can get 0 0.1 divided by 1. Y negative 1, you replace, okay, the early boundary, the early uh, condition with the derivative, go to the formula, negative 2, 0 0.2 plus 2, 0.2 Y naught. So you can see here, you have Y naught, all right? Plus, okay, the same things, you need to find the Y naught here, and plus Y uh, 1, all right, Y 1, all right? So now what should you do? Okay, you solve the problem. You uh, okay, collect which is y0, okay, which is y1, all right? So there is two points here. It's only y0 and y1, all right? Only y0 and y1. So you do the calculation, okay? Find the value of the negative 0, 0 0.2 plus 2 times 0 0.2, uh, yeah? This one is a y not and y1 you have a y not and y1 so you collect all the uh, variables the constant for y not and y1 for one group all right you can see that the answer is negative 1.6 y not plus 2 y1 equal to your right hand side the value okay the real number is a 0 0.48 so the process is quite challenge because you need to derive the formula and then you need to replace y negative 1 at the boundary all right and then okay you need to uh, solve this problem in the simple okay form and then you do it for i equal to 2 okay refer to the refer to the star equation you replace i equal to 2 i equal to 3 i equal to 4 Okay, there is no problem because uh, just confer, co concentrate on the three point y1, y2, y3, y4, and y5. All right, so you can see here the matrix that you generate is all is a uh, uh, diagonal matrices. Okay, three point and the diagonal matrices. Okay, the first is a y1 and y0. The first, second column is y0, y1, and y2. The third column is y1, y2, and y3. The fourth column is y2, y3, and y4. The fifth column is y3 and y4 and y5. All right. So you can see here what you do is generating a linear system where the upper and lower zero, okay, but there is a value at the, the, the diagonal, and then the metric is 5.5. Ah, you can see here. All right. So, come on. Okay, I'm stop here. I want you go to page. Okay, well, we just finish to discretize. Okay, you go to. Um, okay, uh, eight point. Example eight point eight point six. Okay, we just derive the derivative from. Uh, you can see here. It is very uh, complex, but very uh, complex, but easy to get the answer. All right. You replace i equal to 0, i equal to 1, i equal to 2, i equal to 3, i equal to 4, until you get the uh, linear system 5.5. All right. Where the value all are 0 at the upper and lower, and the value only at the diagonal at the diagonal so i know you are very uh feel this is a very complex actually there is not complex they just put a number all right and then be careful okay replace x4 as a 1.8 you know what is x4 you know what is h you know what is uh, all the value when you do the uh, multiplication but you need to arrange the matrix is a diagonal matrix okay Diagonal matrix for 5.5. 5, 5. All right, so now the third step, what is the third step? Okay, the first step to get the boundary, okay, completed. The second step to discretize is completed. The third step is to develop the matrix, okay, from the uh, discretization of boundary value problem with the um, derivative at the corners. Okay, derivative at the y x equal to 1, right? 
So now, uh, just this one, the, 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 the issues that you need to focus. And then you create the matrix 5.5. You need to find what is Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. Y5 is uh, already know what is Y5 is 3. So I replace Y5 to 3 here. All right. I replace Y5 equal to 3 because it's, uh, uh, you can get from the question. All right. So now all the numbers, all the parameters, okay, when you do the multiplication, you arrange, okay, to 5 times 5 matrix, 5 times 1 matrix equal to 5 times 1 matrix on your right. So this is the um a okay the linear system ax equal to f you can see here all zero at the corners all zero at the corners this is the right hand side right hand side all the number all right from the three h square okay so this is all the number all right when you have a number okay how to solve this one very huge metric is five times five use use what use thomas okay Come on, we go to Thomas, page, yeah, chapter 2, go to chapter 2, come on, okay. I stop sharing, come on, you go to chapter 2. Where is Thomas algorithm? Not Thomas multiplication, do one by one, okay. You apply Thomas algorithm, okay, go to page 58, go to page 58, all right. I already, okay, teach you, okay, how to solve the... Thomas, okay, how to solve the Thomas. But in page 58, you just put the numbers, the numbers of the element for matrix A, the numbers, okay, you can see here, okay, go to the formula, all right, and then the numbers for the W, all right, so, okay, replace, okay, all the value at the page 50, 58, all right? So, you don't need to do a Thomas multiplication using using uh, the original, okay, method that I, I present. You just apply in the in the table. Use this table, all right? Use this table, all right? So, you replace, yeah? You replace, you can see here, okay? Straightforward, you can get the value. For example, hmm... Um, Okay, mm, 0 0.99, what is a 0 0.999? Okay, you go to the matrix multiplication, all right? So, you know what is the alpha 1, okay, A1, uh, and then D1, BI minus 1, okay? All right, and then you, you just use this algorithm, all right? Okay, if not, you go to the, you go to the uh, Thomas online, Okay, you can go to the Thomas online. Okay, you can get the value of the Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4, and uh, okay, the solution of the temperature behavior for every point. Right. So now I apply. Okay, you can see here diagonal. Yeah, the, the matrix is a diagonal, three diagonal. Okay, this is the lower of the diagonal, and that one is the upper of the diagonal. All right. And then solve using Thomas, okay? We cannot solve using, uh, okay, um, Gauss because it's really uh, time-consumed to do the iteration. So you can see the matrix that you get is a strictly diagonal matrix. Use Thomas method, all right? Or you can solve using gauss sider method, all right? But sometimes we ask you to use Thomas or gauss sider all right? So now, be careful here. You can see here. Okay, you can get all the value y0, y1, y2, y3, all right, y4, all right, from the Thomas method, all right. You can see the answer. Or, or not, uh, you can go to the uh, Thomas method online or gauss sider method online, okay. So, when we draw the graph, you can see that the graph is uh, from 3. Now, they uh, go down 1.9. And then go up to 1.8, 1.9, 2.1, all right, 2 point some, 2 point, all, all the graph is increased. So it shows that, okay, the temperature behavior is increasing. The temperature behavior is uh, increasing from uh, Y, okay, not, okay, Y 1.9 to 1.8, 1.9, 2.1, uh, 
and then increasing. So you can see the temperature behavior for this uh, boundary condition with derivative at the early corner and x equal to a is a is a increasing. Okay, is increasing. All right. So this is the condition for condition number two. All right. So I stop here. Okay, I'm stop here. I want to uh, some. Um, Okay, I ask uh, a QR code, Madam uh, Piravan. I ask somebody to share screen, okay, with you, okay, at the at the um, Telegram, okay. Nobody do it, all right. So never mind. I can I, I can share with you again, okay. Please, somebody can do it, all right. Okay, I share screen. I hope I can share screen with you. The attendance for today all right so let's we go to the attendance today if i can get from here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right what do we, mm -hmm. if i can share here oh, okay mm -hmm. the class attendance okay the, the class attendant is uh, already gone however we can share with you the 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 uh, since i i open the e-learning you go to the e-learning all right i'm already post that's why i said to you please go to chapter eight uh, it's already all the all the material is there the pdf file you can go to the pdf file the text for today okay the text for today is already stated in my notes you can see here my notes okay this is the graph that I just draw, all right? So you can go to my notes for today class, all right? Which is relevant, which is uh, synchronized with your in ebooks, okay? With your e-notes, all right? So now, okay, never mind, uh, Pivarvan, we are going to um, share with you the attendance after this, okay? I want to continue my lesson, okay, Pivarvan? All right. So now, okay, since my question here, where is my question? My question here is, um, if I can share screen with you again, where we stopped this now is uh, about how to solve the boundary condition at the derivative. All right. So this is important that you need to consider. What is the important here? You can see here, all right, uh, the boundary derivative when x equal to a at the early corner. All right, so you have y negative one. This is one of the point you need to replace, and then second is uh, you need to do the discussion. Ah, this one when you do a discussion, all right. Uh, this is a very tough for you when you do the discussion. Come on, it is is uh, the star okay? The star okay? The star uh, equation okay, where you need to apply. 5.8 and 5.11 and then time h square and then collect okay put in the group the three point yi yi plus one and yi minus one so when you generate when you generate the grid you can find that the matrix is always five uh, five times five okay and then the parameter you want to find is always three parameter yi minus one okay yi and yi plus one y3 y4 and y5 y uh, okay y2 y3 and y4 it's always in the diagonal form all right the last is okay you need to know what is that is a solving a linear system when you convert from the equation to matrix form okay when you do the matrix multiplication be careful because the matrix is a strictly diagonal you can apply thomas okay go to the page thomas where page 158 okay just put the value of alpha beta all right in the page 58 the value of abc and then you can get the answer okay no need to do the backward and forward substitute right you just apply from the thomas algorithm not thomas method yeah thomas method you do the uh, AU equal to F, Thomas algorithm, you just fix your answer. Or if you can get the online Thomas algorithm or Gauss elimination online, there is so many in the website, you can get the value of Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4. 
right? So to get the to get the value y not y one y three y four, ni you be careful, yeah. Why you need to be careful? Because okay, uh, okay, I I again I again express here yeah, to get y not you need to have y negative one. To get y four you need to replace y five is equal to three. Right, so be careful at the corners when y equal to zero and y equal to four. All right, be careful. Okay, be careful at the corners. What I said just now. Okay, be careful at the corners, especially to get y naught and y four because y four in they need y five. Y five is a, a boundary condition at the corners. It's equal to five, and then y zero at the boundary derivative. At the corners x equal to a at the early corners all right so this two point for y1 y2 y3 you have no any condition all right okay so now my question which okay okay which okay part okay which part of uh, boundary i think is of the point yeah is a point to be uh cons to it to be yeah uh, of the point to be considered to be careful uh so it means that but my question here is a uh, which point you need to be careful okay you want you need to be be careful okay you, you, you need to be careful which one okay be careful okay so this is my question okay all right to answer this question i said which part you need to be careful my question here is uh, the early point because your problem is a uh, derivative at the early corner x equal to a and then the last point where you replace y and y5 equal to 3 all right so this is uh, the answer to this question and then the 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 the, the, the next is a uh, how to do it discretize y prime and y prime prime using the chapter chapter five that's all very simple all right okay what is the step the first is uh, draw the boundary condition second find the domain and then do the discretization using finite different method find the star function and then generate i i start from zero one two three four because there is no value for y not and uh, okay there is a value for y n okay y, y five equal to three but why not there is no answer so you need to apply the um boundary value problem using finite different method okay we we can also here okay we can also um find the value at the uh, you can see here okay i'm stop sharing if i can go where uh, where we can extend we can extend the problem to uh, boundary with the both derivative uh, all, all similar all similar don't say that wow it is it's very difficult no just we want to apply here the derivative okay at the boundary in our case is a now we want to find the derivative at both boundary so the means that when x equal to a right there is also derivative and x equal to b there is also derivative so this is a problem because you have the derivative at the both corners okay okay so now my question is how to solve the boundary value problem where the condition is a derivative for both corners so the metric is not is not five times five it should be six times six okay because x not you don't know x one you don't know x two you don't know x three you don't know okay x four you don't know x five also you don't know all right so the matrix is a um, very huge okay six point six so i hope it's not the question that we are going to ask you during the final because the matrix is a six point six six times six is very huge all right it's very huge I think you don't have a time to solve in the 20 minutes in the 20 minutes however i just want to explain here again because it's like reversion all right 
So uh, I, I told you here, uh, in this question, okay, we want to find the value of y okay, from the boundary value problem y prime prime plus 2xy prime minus 3y equal to negative 6 exponent negative x 1 plus x squared. All right. So you can see here the boundary, okay, x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 is a derivative, okay. When x equal to 0, okay, you can get the first derivative y prime x naught minus y x naught equal to 3. And then the last boundary, the last corner, x equal to 1, y prime x1 equal to, okay, xn equal to 0. So what is n? n is a b minus a divided by h. Your b is 1 divided by 0 my, divided by h. h is 0 0.2. So 1 minus 0 divided by 0 0.2 is 5. You have 5 boundary. But uh, in you have 5 point. But you don't know what is the y naught, what is the temperature behavior when x equal to 0. Okay, i equal to 1, i equal to 2, i equal to 3, i equal to... For i equal to 5. You don't know. So you have 5.6 point to find out now using finite different method. So this is the issue. All right. So what is the issue? The issue is you have 6 point to find because all the boundary, all are derivative, all the corners, all are derivative. All right. So this is the problem. All right. So uh, you will get 5. Five, 6 times 6 matrix okay because the both derivative are uh, uh, the both uh, corners have a derivative all right okay the same thing okay we want to discretize this problem don't worry don't worry the discretization because y prime prime you can apply formula uh, center different formula for second derivative 5.11 Y prime, you can use center different formula, 5.8. Okay, okay, you can derive the derivative, okay, for the boundary value problem just now. And then at the boundary, you need to apply the formula 5.8, especially when I equal to 0 and I equal to N. Okay, and our case here, N is equal to 5, okay, because... B minus A divided by H, right? 1 minus 0 divided by 0 0.2 is a 5, right? So now, come on, we want to answer this question. We want to apply the boundary value problem. We want to follow these three steps. Okay, what is the step? The step is, um, come on, uh, find the dominant, uh, the, the domain of the solution draw the graph, all right, and then uh, the second step is, uh, the first step you need to find the dominant, where is x? x is between 0 and uh, 1, okay, meaning that i is start from 0 up to 5, all right. Step 2, you want to discretize the, the, the boundary value problem. Use 5.11 formula for the second order derivative. Okay, and then 5.8 for the first order derivative. Step three, you generate, you generate the uh, linear system using i equal to one, i equal to two, i equal to three, i equal to four, i equal to five. All right, and then mm, i equal to zero. So you have a six. Okay, linear system. Solve linear system using the Thomas metric, even though there is six metrics, okay, six times six, but you can apply the Thomas algorithm. Just put inside or you can use online the Thomas or Gauss elimination. You can, you can also get the value of a uh, y1, y0, y2, y3, y4, y5, y, uh, all the y's. Okay, there is a six value. All right, the first step, B is a B minus A divided by H. Okay, where is the domain? You draw this graph, you will get the marks. You know why? Because you know where is the solution. You know where is the x naught. You know where is x1, x2, x3, and x5. You know what is y naught. Why not? You don't know why, because not given in the question. You know the graph is, you want to find y naught, y1, y2, y3, y4, and y5. Okay, so how many points? There is a six point. 
All right, there is a six point to find out. All right, so now let's we go to in our case. Okay, you go to okay chapter A, the last part where the boundary five example eight point eight. Okay, you can see here example eight point eight. Okay, eight point eight. All right. So you, from here you can see, okay, we, the the boundary both the boundary is a derivative. Is a derivative. All right. So now, okay, what should we do? Okay, we want to find the domain of solution. We want to find y not y one y two up to y five. What is the initial condition? The initial condition given in the question y prime 0 minus y0 equal to 3, right? y x0 is equal to 0, right? So, meaning that you need to find the center different formula, for, uh, chapter 5, formula 5.8, yi plus 1 minus yi minus 1 divided by 2h minus yi equal to 0. i is a 0, all right? So, you will get y1 minus y negative 1 divided by 2h minus y not equal to 0. All right. So, you, when you meet y negative 1, you replace by 2h y not plus y1 minus 6h. Okay. Minus 6h. How to get 6h? 2 times h. h is a 0. 0. 0.1. Okay. 0. 0.2. So, you can get 6h right so now uh, the other boundary condition at the last corner is a y prime 1 equal to 0 apply again two point center different formula for first derivative y n plus 1 minus y n plus minus 1 divided by 2h i is equal to 5 i is equal to n so you will get y6 minus y4 divided by 2h equal to zero so when you meet y6 okay you replace as a y4 okay you replace y6 equal to y4 at the corners be careful when this two point y negative one and y6 all right because your derivative the both side is a uh, the is a is a derivative form you need to apply the two point center different formula for first derivative. All right. So set in your mind. Set in your mind. I need to generate the value of uh, y not y one y two y three y four and y five with the condition. All right. So now discretize. This discretize. Okay. Uh, this one again. Y prime prime discretize with the three point second order derivative. Yi plus one minus two yi plus yi minus one divided by h. From where you get? From the, uh, from where you get this one? From the, okay, I want you to answer this question. Okay, from you get, from where you get the second order derivative? From, from second order, yeah, this one, not, not three order, from the, 5.11 second order derivative chapter chapter 5 and then you also need to apply first order derivative in this question you go to chapter 5 go to the second order that's uh, first order derivative with a two point yi plus 1 all right minus yi minus 1 divided by 2h okay please remember this formula all right so now let's we apply Right, I don't say that this is new. I just want to arrange this formula, okay? And then you can get plus two x i because there is no derivative here. Y uh, y i prime is a y i plus one minus y i minus one divided by two h formula five point eight close minus three y i because there is no derivative here equal to negative six exponent negative xi times 1 plus xi squared. There is no derivative here. Just put i. i is a grid. i is a node. i is a point to generate the value for i equal to 
zero, one, two, three, and so on. All right. So now I just want to make sure that you focus how to discretize. I'm worried if you cannot discretize, you cannot generate the matrix, and then you cannot solve using Thomas. Yeah? And then as usual, okay, uh, is a co common form times negative h squared every both part. I times h h squared every both part. And then you can see here, this is the condition, okay, negative 3 uh, h squared, okay, negative 3 h squared yi, okay, put on the right-hand side. And then you, um, don't forget, yeah, 3 h squared yi, yeah, don't forget. And then now you, 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 you combine, you make it a simple expression. There are three points here y i plus one y i and y i minus one okay you put in the column okay you can see the coefficient for y i plus one and y i minus one is almost similar one is a one plus h x i the other one is a one minus h x i and then the center is a two plus three h squared so you need to be careful uh, arranging the three point y i plus one y i and y i minus one the rest okay the real number you put on the right hand side you know that x i you know okay from the grid at the x axis is a real time real real number and then h you know you are given in the question and then generate the solution for i equal to zero one two three four and five all right you generate the solution for i equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So you are creating matrix 3 times 6 times 6. Wow! you creating the, you generate the grid, okay, the expression when i equal to 0 from the star. Uh, be careful, yeah, don't fed up, don't give up. Put 1 by 1, put inside the value of x0, put the value of the h, okay? So, when you want to do this, ah, I want you to focus. Uh, when you want to generate, uh, okay, please, okay, focus. When you generate the, uh, the linear system, the linear system from star, from the, the star, where is star here? Okay, from the star equation. All right, so that's, I, I want you, do not stop. You are correct. You not have a good confidence when you meet this stage. It's common. All right, so now I want you to set in your mind, go to the self-determined learning to improve how to discretize. All right, that you have a star function. All right. And then now you want to generate i equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or I start from i equal to 0. It depends on the condition, whether the derivative at the early corner or, or the last corner, all right? I already explained to you, when you have the derivative at the first corner, you need to start i equal to 0. When you have a derivative at the last corner, you need to end at the y n, i equal to n, all right? So, what, but if you have a both side, ah, you have a six times six matrix. So at this stage, you are confused or oh, whether I'm correct in replacing or in generating the i from the star function, from the star that you generate from the previous step based on the finite different method and put i for the equation. You stop here. You give up. Don't. Continue. You are correct. But you need to focus. All right, you need to focus. All right, so now let's refocus. When we focus, okay, you can meet the six times six matrix. Okay, you can meet the six times six matrix from i equal to zero. Put one by one. Be careful when you meet i equal to negative one. When i i equal to negative one at the corners, replace okay the discretion that you do it from the first stage discretization at the corners you have three point again y1 and y0 right and then you generate when i equal to one x1 is 0 0.2 because this is x exists 
there is no problem here because your grid is only 0, 1 and 2. No problem. You just insert the value of X1 and then the value of H, okay, the parameter for the coefficient Y2, Y1 and Y0. If you put a different way, it's no problem. Okay, you put I minus 1 at the first stage, a first expression is okay, no problem. All right, the important is how you derive when you generate i equal to 2, i equal to 3. All right, so what you need to do here, don't give up. Go to the star function, replace i equal to 2, x2 is equal to 0 0.4. All right, continue to i equal to 3 because you have uh, 6 times 6 metrics. Okay, go to i equal to 3. So I, I think, okay, we not go to this question, both derivative because you need to find six, okay, point. I equal to three and then continue to I equal to four, right? I equal to four. Put the value I equal to four, X4 is equal to 0 0.8, same as. So, so the formula for I equal to one, I equal to two, I equal to three, I equal to four, Okay, is similar. However, when I equal to 5, you have the discussion for Y6. Okay, the last corner. Derivative at the last corner, you have Y6. Replace Y6 equal to Y4. We already use formula 5.8 to replace Y6 equal to Y4. <clears throat> and then combine. Combine, you have only y4 y5 all right the grid the last point is a y4 and y5 only all right so you combine you put in the group y4 you will get all right 1.02 plus 0 0.8 is a 2 y4 minus 2.12 y5 and then the rest is a real number put on your right hand side so the step last step ah you can see here i'm stop okay here Right, you can see here, you need to create, okay, you need to create how many points just now? 6 by 6. So you need to create 6 by 6. All right, so you can see here, wow, this is a, um, okay, find, uh, okay, uh, 6 by 6. Okay, come on, I, I'm stop sharing here. All right, and then uh, from here, Okay, uh, you need to do the disposition, be careful. You need to times h squared and then you generate the formula and then you put the i, all right, and then towards the end, you create the linear system. All right, so now I want to continue. How to find the linear system of this metric? Wow, wow, okay, it's a 6.6, .6, you know, it's a 6.6. .6. All right, so you can see here. Right, 6.6. .6. The matrix is a 6.6. .6. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 6.6 6 times 6. All right, so why? Because the derivative at the corners and derivative at the uh, the last corners. All right, so now let's refocus. I don't know. Okay, are you familiar with the Thomas? Yes, all right. Are you familiar how to transform from the linear system to the matrix form? Yes, we learned in chapter 2, all right? Using Gaussider Jacobi, we, we transform linear system to the matrix form. Yes, you have this experience, all right? But the matrix is very huge, 6 by 6. So how to do that? I'm applying Thomas. So what should I do? All right, I go to the page, okay, chapter, chapter 2. Right, I just in, input what is the alpha, what is the beta, okay, what is f, and then I can get the solution for y not, y one, y two, y three, y four, y five. All right, if I'm not uh, getting this value, I need to use uh, online system for Thomas method, online system for the Gauss elimination. All right, so now, come on, okay, I I already okay uh, express here. If you go to question 8.2, all right, I already stated which is your, okay, which is your, your, your need to focus. For example, question 8.2, go to your textbook. Question number one, okay, 
Okay, this is the uh, boundary, uh, okay, 2A, okay, there is a boundary value problem without derivative. So matrix here, it's very simple. You just uh, find Y1, Y2, Y3 because Y0 and Y4 is a given in the question, all right? For type B, okay, you go to the question 8.2, number 2B is a type B where there is a derivative at the last corner. So meaning that... Um, and there is a derivative at the early corner. So meaning that you need to find Y0 because Y4 is getting from the uh, question, from the question, right? Number 2C is a boundary value problem type C, type number 3. So meaning that there is a derivative at the corners. When you have a derivative at the corners, the last corner, you need to find Y4. Okay, Y0 is given in the question. For type Okay, D, question number 2D, you have a boundary at the both corners. So, meaning is that you need to find Y0 and Yn. Ah, right? So, this is the way how um, to, to solve this problem. So, in my case, to make sure that you can answer my question, I think I'm not giving you type D. I'm not giving you question in type D because it's long time to solve this problem. Maybe, okay, type B or type C. Maybe, okay, you focus on type B or type C. Type A is very simple because the matrix is very, very small. You just get the matrix between the boundary between uh, 0 and 4, Y1 and Y2 only, all right? All right, so in this case, okay, we know how to answer question 8.2, okay, uh, chapter 8, page 2, all right? You know how to find uh, the value, okay, based on the type. Okay, for type B and C, be careful whether you want to put Y0 okay, or YN. Okay, Y0 or YN. All right, the early boundary or the last boundary. All right, for uh, number 3A, boundary value problem is a type A. Type A means that uh, you just find the value at the uh, between y naught and y n, you saw the answer is a y one, y two, y three because y naught is given, y x x not also given. For type three b is a type c. Type c means that you need to find the y four. Okay, the last va value of i because your derivative at the last boundary when x equal to b. All right, so you can see here for 4A is a type A. Type, type A is very simple. You just find at the um, between. For, for B, you need to go type C. Type C means that derivative at the last corner. So you need to find Y4. All right, type A, you need to find Y0 because there is derivative at the early, early boundary condition. All right, so you can see here. All right, uh, now I want you to um, focus, okay? Okay, the question here is uh, there is four type. Okay, you can see here, all right? You have four type. So maybe I focus on the chapter A, type B or type C because type D is a very huge. What is type A and what is type B? Type B is a boundary at the early, early corners. So meaning is that you need to find why not. What is type C? Type C is a boundary at the last corner. You need to find the uh, YN or Y4. All right. That's the end for this class. Very simple. What is your strength? How to find the domain? How to discretize the boundary value problem using the first derivative and uh, second derivative? Find a different method. And then how to find the star, okay? And then generate when i equal to 0 up to i equal to n. Okay, maybe you have the answer at the corners. And then the last is how to transform from the linear system to the matrix form. Okay, to solve the matrix form, you apply Thomas. You apply Thomas or Galsider method, all right? To apply Thomas, apply Thomas algorithm. Just fit the value, okay, to the uh, uh, to the to the algorithm, and then you can get what is the value 
y not y1, y2, y3, up to yn. All right? Okay. Any question? There is no question because there is no question un until now. All right? So we hope that, okay, we hope that you can, okay, uh, try the exercise. Ah, exercise in in chapter five, in chapter eight, all right? So the the answer you can find at the back of the books. Don't okay, um, worry because I give you the the answer, all right? So you just find the the discussion. Don't give up. This is a twenty five percent of your final exam. All right. Bye bye. See you.